Hey, hello everyone. Planning to learn data science, but confused that from where to start. So I'll give you a very basic path from where you can start. I'll let you know what are the uh, few things that you need to consider. So very first of all, welcome to the data science if you are planning to move into that. So the very first thing that you need to do is pick any programming language. So programming language is just like a medium to learn data science because we needed something as a medium to perform the data sciences stuff. So you can pick any programming language, but I'll suggest you to go with Python because Python is a versatile language and everybody is talking about Python. We have almost more than uh, one lakh libraries available in Python and which is which we can use for deep learning, machine learning algorithms on the later stages. So Python, you can start as a programming language, learn basics of Python, the core Python stuff. You should know how to uh, the different structures available in Python like list, tuples, dictionaries, uh, uh, set. You should know a basic, uh, you know, how to apply conditional statement. Programming is what? It's all about conditional statement. You should know how to apply for while loop. So although in data science, it's not kind of like typical uh, uh, programming is needed like we does for web development but it's good to have always because you will be having a different mindset of customizing anything if you know how to do that with uh, using core python so python just you pick that learn uh, the basics of python then the next thing is you need to learn data analysis so data for performing data analysis you need uh, uh, pandas and numpy these two libraries are fair enough to understand that even i'll i'll say that you need to focus more on pandas in which you uh, learn that how to group your data how to you know check the different columns size shape of the data check whether we have particular data available or not in if need to extract few columns few rows you should know some basic operations that we are supposed to perform so pick any flat, flat file let's say any excel import into pandas read it see how many columns how many rows and try to perform data analysis on that so while performing data analysis there are few things that you need to consider is like uh, where, how uh, how our data is available i mean do we have certain missing records if missing then we need to treat those uh, maybe if less uh, percentage is there for missing data you can remove it if there are more missing data you just need to treat that how to do it so next is duplicacy that also you need to consider we will be having so many rows columns available so as per your requirement how many columns needed that is really important you need to extract those see the statistics summary of your data so statistics also important into that into data analysis only i'm saying that statistics is the one thing that is really important so that you understand how to talk about your data in terms of stats in terms of facts and figures so rather than saying anything this is the number you say that the, this is the average this is the uh, the lower quartile this is the upper quartile and uh, our data is lies into one standard deviation it's two standard deviation away from the mean so you should know how to talk about you understand what is the skewness you understand what is the outliers and all so these things are coming into the data analysis stuff that you need to understand once you know how to do the data analysis and you are able to do it so you will be able to you know obtain certain uh, conclusion out of it so you need to show them and rather than telling everything in terms of numbers you should know how to create visuals out of it so you have to know how uh, you should know how to create reports visuals so for creating visuals you may start from python uh, libraries as well which is a uh, matplotlib and seaborn but you you can get your hand dirty with the uh, Tableau, Power BI, these are some other reporting tools available in the market. Next is, once you are fair enough, you have a kind of not uh, very expert into that, but initially you should be able to create certain reports, certain visuals out of it. Slowly and gradually with practice, you will be more, uh, uh, you know, uh, good into creating visuals and all. Next is, machine learning so machine learning once you create visuals so you know what is there in your data so then after analyzing your data you can create certain assumptions and those assumptions that you may need to prove in machine learning so machine learning we say that we need to create uh, predictive models we need to create the uh, forecast something about the future so so that will be coming from the 
pattern that we understand from the past data. So in the machine learning, if your data is properly clean, that you did during analysis then you see that using this data how i can uh, predict something i mean what i can predict what is the coma, uh, column that we can use as a you know uh, target variables what are the input features that we can use and while learning machine learning i, I will recommend you don't just start with everything just take one problem one maybe you can start from supervised classification or regression and try to understand how it works so the all the pro problems are like they have a different algorithms they have a different way of working but the concept is quite similar like the data is prepared and you understand the problem belongs to this category and then pick that uh, specific algorithms and then you apply it and then uh, do the further uh, you know uh, applying algorithm creating the models and then you evaluate those models so these are the things that you basically perform in machine learning but i'll recommend to start with the basics you can go with the supervised pick any regression or classification problem try to understand how to apply very basic let's say linear regression or the logistic regression decision tree random forest svm these are these basic algorithms that you should know how to apply those once you have started applying machine learning algorithms and you are able to predict something then try to focus on you know evaluating that outcome what is the mean of precision what is the mean of uh, recall what is uh, your rmsc score what is uh, your r square value what is uh, i mean uh, uh, hypothetical terms that we what is p value and all you should be able to understand those basic concepts into machine learning now next is you have learned uh, different uh, things all together created machine learning models as well and you know how to evaluate those as well next is once you have these kind of basic uh, knowledge then you can pick any data and do as many as projects you can do pick any data try everything whatever you learn because without trying you won't be able to explain that initially once you learn so all the data that you have picked up that's related to that problem only for example any target let's say titan data has been given to you so titanic survival data that's quite famous in machine learning is the one which is basically applicable i mean uh, the data is the one which we always use for classification problem that whether person survived or not so once you will be working in real time scenarios the data is not kind of prepared right we need to understand what is happening there then only we would be able to apply it so end to end projects are really important pick any data data you can pick from the internet in internet we have very good resources available nowadays we, you can learn anything from internet and number of resources are available so start from that and go like this so let me uh, uh, revise those whatever we discussed first is to start your data science journey pick any programming language so start with python then data analysis for data analysis you ne needed pandas or numpy a kind of bit sequels as well but you may start with pandas from flat file as well then the data visualization is also needed for so that you would be able to create certain reports and all so you may initially start with matplotlib seaborn then go with tableau power bi and all then uh, machine learning machine learning you can start with supervised initially then later go on, on unsupervised and get your hand dirty with the deep learning problems and all and then do end to end projects so go step by step rather than jumping like you you always try to focus on uh, you know uh, quality rather than quantity rather than learning 10 algorithms just pick one and get, try to understand that end to end that what is happening there so that once you are comfortable enough to that particular algorithm you can easily adopt anyone so good luck for your data science journey that's it thank thanks everyone take care bye bye